In this video, I would like to explain what I call the survivability thesis. In short, the survivability thesis means that the security interest survives the disposition of the collateral. Now, perhaps it is counterintuitive for someone who is new to secure transactions to believe that the debtor who has obtained a loan and offered personal property as security can actually sell the personal property that was offered as security. One would think, how is this a secure transaction if the debtor can sell the property that he has put up for, uh, for, for security in order to secure the loan? But upon more understanding of secure transactions, we find that it is perfectly okay uh, for the debtor to sell the collateral. Uh, perhaps not in all cases, but in many cases uh, the secured party would not oppose uh, to the sale of the collateral or disposition of the collateral. Uh, for example, the clearest case would be that if the debtor has used inventory as collateral, then of course the secured party would want the debtor to sell the inventory to generate cash flow so that uh, the loan can be paid off. Uh, of course in certain other circumstances uh, uh, the secured party may restrict the debtor from selling the collateral, but even if the secured party uh, makes a contract uh, forbidding the debtor not to sell the collateral, uh, the debtor may nonetheless sell the collateral and breach the contract. Uh, but that is a different question. Uh, I think in this video I would like to say that as a matter of law, the survivability thesis tells us that a security interest survives disposition. And in some sense, it is good for uh, the secured party because secured party can still possess the collateral uh, in the case of default from the person who now possesses the collateral. So if there is a buyer of the collateral and uh, the debtor defaults on the loan, the secured party can go and possess the collateral uh, from the buyer. So this will indeed be the survivability thesis and buyer takes the, secure, takes the property or the collateral uh, subject to security interest. Uh, so as a general principle, uh, we could say that a security interest does not extinguish upon the sale of the collateral, but rather it goes where the collateral goes. So uh, this, is, this is the general principle. However, there are exceptions where the security interest does not go with the collateral. Uh, for example, the clearest case would be uh, a buyer in the ordinary course of business that buys the collateral takes free of security interest. There are other situations also where the buyer uh, will take uh, free of security interest, uh, but those will be discussed in another, uh, another video. But I think the prime point in this regard that you should remember is that disposition of a collateral, whether it is sale or exchange or lease, whatever disposition uh, that a collateral undergoes, that disposition does not extinguish the security interest uh, in the collateral. The security interest survives uh, disposition.